We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Red Raiders and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. When you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. It's second down and a long way to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver. He gets hit out of bounds around the 33-yard line. Well, you give up too many passes like that, and the game will be done before you know it. They cannot let these receivers get behind them. Hey, tight, tight down, tight down. There you go. From the 33-yard line, second down. Great concentration to haul it in. Brought down at the 21-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. And he is drilled at the 28-yard line. That's a loss of seven yards. Bottom end of second and nine. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Fires out to his receiver. He's taken down right around the eight yard line. Gaining 20 on the play. That makes it first and goal. Watch the run, watch the run. Go! Go! Nice run up the middle. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings him second and goal. New Mike, get that in. Check, 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 29. Check, 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 29. Him hard at the 10. This isn't much more than an extra point. Texas Tech could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up, and it is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. He fights forward to about the 26. That brings up second and nine. Slings it, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 35-yard line. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. From their own 35-yard line, second down. 
And he has it on the corner. He's at midfield, and he tackles him hard at the 45. on that throw, and that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. We've got a first and 10. Ball of the 29. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. That makes it second and ten. Texas Tech is up a field goal. That's a great tackle at the 21. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. Watch the run, watch the run. Mike 52, Mike 52. Here go. Here go. And he's level at the 13. Gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. He makes it to the 48-yard line. Fires quickly and he's got his man. Tackle at the 47 yard line. Here's a throw. I don't think he got anything on that. Three yards there on the play. This kid's just a sophomore. He'll learn how to break those short catches in the big games. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And he's taken down at the 33. That's such a huge letdown for this defense. That kind of conversion is just inexcusable. They come out on an empty backfield. strike to the receiver. They'll bring him down at about the 15-yard line. I'm really liking what I see from this guy. He's not afraid to go to the air on any down. And he's tackled at the two-yard line. Five wide. But you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. That brings up second and goal. Second down and goal. Ball on the three. And they make the stop just outside the goal line. Crowd in the line. 
Touchdown, Cyclones. Perfect call under these circumstances, confusing them with the option and then getting the football into the hands of the running back. And he hits the PAT. A nine-play, 51-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drop. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And they can forget about returning this one. Iowa State's defense really came to play early in this football game. Well, they've done a good job here early, but you know eventually this offense is going to start clicking. Let's see if this defense can sustain this for the rest of the game. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's tackled at the 31-yard line. Number eight on the tackle. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. The Cyclones lead it by four. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Good track, good track. My 52, my 52. Go. Quick pass. complete he's got space to work he's at midfield and they finally push him out at the 41 yard line that's a team that makes it first and ten that makes it first and ten you don't want none baby you don't want none hey hey you don't want to see me check check alert predator predator check check just throws this one away From the 41 yard line. Second down. Keep it up, defense. Keep it up, guys. Hey, Mike 52. Mike 52. Right He's pushed out of bounds at about the 41. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. It's a nice play by the defense to shut down all the lanes, so this halfback wasn't able to make anything happen on that play. They bring him down. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Fourth and long here after the sack. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. Oh, excellent punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Iowa State holds a four-point lead. And down he goes at the 28. Number eight with the tackle at the 28-yard line. That makes it second and two. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. And he's tackled right away. Good tackle there in space. That's good for a game one yard. Third down. Seven's the mic. Mike seven. 
Here's the halfback on the screen. He's taken down at the 42-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. Fourth down. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. Here's the punt. No, they're going to throw it. Throws it to coverage. Just picked off. Tackle made at the 46-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 46-yard line. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And they push him out around the 20-yard line. That's good for the 26 yards. First down. 552. Let's go. Alert. Cut it out. He's coming. He's coming. Can you Nice play to set up first and goal. Number seven on the tackle at the nine yard line. That makes it first and goal. Mike 52, Mike 52. We're down. Check, 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 Give to the running back and he's going to lose yardage. He's really quick with his lateral move, especially for a guy this big. He got to the ball carrier before he could get out of the backfield. He gets another carry. He fights forward to about the 10. He fires left side. Puts it right in his hands. Touchdown. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. It was a five play, 46 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 10-7. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. The offense will take the field, hoping for a better result than their last drive. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. Just throws this one away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25. Darts it to the right. Well, the offense catches a break here. That ball should have been intercepted there by the safety. So the quarterback gets the ball back here for this next down. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. And that'll bring up a punting situation. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. And it was a really nice drive too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. From their own 35-yard line, it's second down. Texas Tech is up by three. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. Good for a game of six yards. Oh, Jay, punt. Where's the 
Check, check, check. Gets it out to the back, first down. Tackle made at the 48. Impressive gain there by the do-it-all back. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48. Throws complete and he's hit right away. The Red Raiders are going to call their second timeout. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's scrambling. Tackle around the 35-yard line. That makes it first and 10. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Now he's scrambling. And he's going to come up with a sack. Fires out to his receiver. Still on his feet. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 18-yard line. Call it a gain of 18 yards. First down. And this play is number eight on the drive. Back to pass. New Mike 52. Mike 52. Go! Six, and he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Texas Tech has a three-point lead. Steamer, steamer. Alert. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Tenth play of the drive. He heaves it to the end zone. He caught it for the touchdown. And he converts the extra point. I have a feeling this ball is going nowhere near the return man with this kickoff, most likely to end the half. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Nice run up the middle. So at the end of the half, the Red Raiders lead 17-7. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. The halftime lead is not insurmountable for this squad. And you know, there are a lot of times when you watch the first half of the game and you start talking about mental toughness and, and energy and effort and all of those types of things. You get the sense this is more of an X and O deal for the coaches. A couple of minor adjustments that could really change the game in the second half. Yeah, if, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But if it's broke, it needs to be fixed. And there's some things that you definitely see offensively and defensively that these teams need to be sharper. They need to be crisper. They need to find an edge. Maybe they need to go more up-tempo. Maybe they need to pass the football a little bit more. Defensively, maybe you need to be a little bit more aggressive. This is... This is one of those things where coaches have to feel out. They have the feeling out process. They have to feel what you do well, what you're not doing well. And sometimes you need to completely go in a different direction. You're down two scores. Something good has to happen. You need to change what you've been doing because it hasn't worked. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. And he got all of this one. Great kick. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Red Raiders continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He fights forward to about the 26. quickly to the tailback, and he tackles him hard at the 38. They'll go with the run once again. a very impressive open field tackle and a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz and a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Handoff and he's met in the backfield. That's a loss of four yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. From the 46 yard line, it's second down. Delayed handoff, and he's taken down right around the 44-yard line. That makes it fourth and 12. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. Booming kick. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. The offense will take the field, and they've been moving the ball very well on their last couple of drives. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Five yards. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. Quick throw to the back, it's incomplete. You know, Brad, I really like what the quarterback was trying to do here by making a nice, easy throw, but sometimes the easiest throws are the toughest ones to make. From their own 25-yard line, it's third down. There's a strike complete. They'll bring him down at about the 35. Number 55 makes the tackle at the 35-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Quick throw, and he's got his receiver again. And they make the stop at about the 49. That's good for a gain of 16 yards. First down. Hey, Mike 52, Mike 52. All right. Here we go. Let's go. Go. Alert, alert, alert. Check three, check three, check three. Quick throw. And he's got it. Touchdown, Red Raiders. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. Well, that had to be a miscue of some kind or a mental error by the defense. This wide receiver was just too open for there not to be some kind of mistake by the defense. I'm sure the defensive coordinator is going to want to get his defense on the sideline and to make sure everybody's on the same page. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Texas Tech's coaching staff's got to be excited. Their game plan was to get it in this guy's hands, and they've done a great job of it. Well, they've done a really good job of getting the football, and they've come up with a variety of ways of putting the ball in his hands. And I think you combine the scheme with this young man's abilities, it's no wonder he's having such a big game. And he's hit immediately. He's 
tackled in the open field. He goes out of bounds around the 49 yard line. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. They'll knock him down for a loss. That was a loss of two yards. That brings up third and ten. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. They'll spread the field with five wide. Go, go. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. He really got a hold of that one. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. This offense did really well with the air attack on their last trip out there. Let's see if they can do the same thing here. I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. And he's tackled around the 26-yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. to an open man, he dropped it. So that'll make it fourth down. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. <laughs> Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. That makes it second and six. At about the 39-yard line. Well, I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. Makes you a little bit more hesitant maybe to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offensive coordinator is get the offense over the sideline after the series. Make sure everybody's on the same page. And then show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play that you're going to go right back to the running back and trust that offensive line. And this one is a beauty. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The defense did a nice job shutting down the offense the last time they had the ball. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. First down grab, tailback has it. Brought down around the 37-yard line. That makes it first and 10. And he's tackled right away. Quick 
throw picked off. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. Oh, so close to breaking it. Just when it looked like this offense might be able to put this game out of reach, you turn the football over with an interception, boy, this could come back in a big way to bite you. One more quarter to play. 24 to 7, Texas Tech. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. He's pushed out of bounds at the 14-yard line. He's taken down around the 13-yard line. Space to run and just bursting in for six. He makes the PAT. Iowa State gets set to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Offense comes back out, looking to improve from their last effort. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Pass is caught. The defense lays him out. Gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Watch the curl. Watch the curl. Go! And he's tackled after positive yardage. First down. Scrambling around. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 37-yard line, it's third down. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. What a relief it is for a quarterback to know that he's got a receiver like this who can step up when he needs him on third down. With the pass incomplete. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Tackle made around the 44 yard line. That makes it 37. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. I mean, this is almost getting ridiculous. That is sack number eight. This guy's going to have to spend a half an hour in the ice tub after this game. It's just been shot after shot all day long. Where's the offensive line? 
Fourth and long here after the sack. Just under three to go in regulation. away and it's a booming punt this punt goes over the goal line and this will be a touchback it's a new possession for this offense so what will it hold They lose seven yards on that play. But that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. They line up at the 13. Second down. Seven to Mike. Mike seven. Right down. Looks middle, got his back. Tackle around the 22-yard line. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. Nice run there. Good awareness by the defense to know where the first down was and stop him short of. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Hit and still completed it. Knocked out of bounds at the 25. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Just over a minute left. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Boy, this senior safety provides such solid run support. He stopped him in his tracks that time. They'll give it off here. He fights forward to about the 19. Three-yard gain by the running back. He got right in there and popped the ball carrier. This senior just doesn't back down from anyone. Makes it to the 11, and that'll give him another first down. Excellent job there, Brad, of running the football. That was good execution by this offense. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 11. And that sets them up with a first and goal. Call the game of 10 yards. That makes it first and goal. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the one. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. And he's taken down at the one. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. So it's fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. Tack on three points. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. And he's going to lose big yardage. 
coverage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. They lose four there. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. The Red Raiders know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future, but for now he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance and, and really the play caller, the quarterbacks, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. Well, that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.